special guest for you, Mike Irwin. the hearts of my fans. <laughs> well, be that as it may, your, uh, your start at the uh, Australian Zoo actually really helped you a lot more. Your start with your brother Steve. Yeah, Steve, he was, uh, he was, a, he was a great fella. And it's been a long time ago, though. The Australian Zoo, it did help me out, but what you see now, it's all Mike Irwin. I had to teach myself because my brother Steve, he didn't like me very much. He, uh, he kind of left me, that, that's, that's been a long time ago, long time ago. Yes, well, we mustn't uh, hold on to things of the past. Exactly. Let's get on with the present and catch some more people. Yes, well, I believe we actually have a clip of you and your brother, a small video clip. Really? Yes. Why don't we take a look at that clip here? Steve! Steve! I've got the rope! I've got the... You started without me! Let's go do our own show. Well, that was unexpected. Tell you, my brother didn't like me very much. What you see here is all Mike Irwin. He left me with nothing. Well, yes, exactly. let's, let's talk about your crew, because they're the ones who you spend most time with. It's true, they get my better side. We have your lead cameraman here. Please. Everyone help me welcome Sam. Wait, wait, wait. I thought you were interviewing me. Well, we are, but we do like to get a bigger perspective on things. It's better for our audience. Hey, look, I'm big enough for the whole perspective. Aren't I? Woo! Well, yes, I, I can't see that, but uh, anyway, help me welcome Sam. Hello, Sam. How are you? All right, you can talk. I don't like to talk much. And why is that? I found it better to let Mr. Irwin do most of the talking. If I was like Sam, he's a smart guy. Actually, I found it's easier not to argue. Smart guy, this Sam. Yes, very smart. <laughs> well, Sam, we do thank you for coming and bringing with you our next clip. Let's watch. in the house. Now mind you, it's their house, so they would have gone in anyway, but I think we're still doing really good, don't you? What do you mean, no? You're always disagreeing with me. Well, what do you think we should do better? Sometimes, I don't know about you. You're always giving me trouble. What are you doing here? 
Uh, girl guides, would you like to buy some girl guide cookies? Girl guide? You're not a girl guide. What? You Wait. don't even look like a girl. Well, thank you. Well, you're welcome. I'd like to buy some cookies. How much are they? This is going bad. Let's get out of here. Oh, if that was a girl, I think she needed a shave. I do. Come on. Let's go. Quick. All right. You're right. We need to get ourselves a building so we can capture people and avoid this fiasco. Putting them in their own houses is no good. They can come out whenever they want to. We gotta lock them out and lock them up good. Now that was a uh, interesting first catch. <laughs> like I said, my brother didn't tell me anything. Nothing at all. Well, let's invite another person out. Please welcome Kendall. Welcome to our place here. It seems like a very cozy place. Yes. Our guests love our facility. The cells seem a little crowded, don't you think? Not that crowded. There's room for two more, I think, and I think I know who. You already have plans? I indeed I do. Uh, wait a minute, isn't that someone for our audience tonight? Isn't that... What? Come on, Kendall. 